So this is the Oda 2 power chord. And um, there are several differences with respect to the uh, old Odin 1. And I'm going to show you the, the sound difference from the Odin 1 to the Odin 2 uh, when connected to my source, so to the Scarlatti only. Okay? So if you can appreciate the level of difference from the Odin 1 to the Odin 2 on the, on the CD player, you can imagine if I use this to feed my whole system or, you know, in the more, more important positions back there in the distribution one. Okay, so one thing that uh, you might notice right away is that the gauge, so the diameter of the conductors uh, is, uh, is heavier. So with the uh, old Odin, we had uh, seven conductors, but they were one size smaller in diameter. So we made them one size larger. The other important thing is that the screening, so that we call it TSC, total system signal control, so this shield that is individually applied to every one of the conductors. In the Odin, and this is, I'm gonna make a general statement, it's not just for the power cord. In the Odin, original Odin, uh, it was a passive shield. So it was not attached to the housing in the connectors. Now it is. So we have a fully 100% shielded cable from tip to tip. The other obvious difference is this connector. Okay, so this is called a hollow plug. And we make this connector ourselves. Noros makes this connector, and it's not for sale. Okay, why did we go to the trouble of making our own connector? Okay, so here's the story. I'm gonna to try to illustrate this in a, in a simple manner. Suppose that I had the connector in my hand, in one hand, and the cable in the other hand. And I gave this cable for you, for you to terminate the cable for me. Okay, so what would you do? First, you would take the outer insulation off a little bit, right? Finger two. And when with a universal regular connector, what would you have to do? You would have to expose the conductors, and then you would have to manipulate, fiddle with the conductors so that they will fit that the holes and the and, and, and that universal uh, connector. Black, for, yeah. So, for example, in Odin one, we have the uh, the fur tech top of the line, carbon fiber, whatever. It's a great. It's a fantastic connector, but it requires you to destroy the geometry of the cable to make the conductors go into the specific slots that they have to go. <coughs> Do you understand what I'm going? Yes. Understand? So with the hollow plug, we made it so that the, the, the cable geometry is maintained all the way to the end. So what happens is inside this hollow plug, inside this connector, we have seven, this is a cable with seven conductors, we have seven holes, so the diameter of the hole, the slanting, so the inclination of the hole is such, everything is perfect so that the cable, Goes. the cable twists, the cable, the way that the cable comes is perfectly fit into the connection. So what I, the, all, all I have to do is take that insulation off, and actually it's a machine that does that therm, therm, thermally, it's not made by hand, and then the Insert. connection just inserts and it's done. So if the customer needs to replace the connector or the plug, you have to send to the factory the... It's no? no replacement. No? It's either like that or it's I mean, on, or you do it on your own. Yeah. Replace, yeah, okay. Okay. But uh, this, this, this right here is one of the most important upgrades that we made. Okay, and it's also in the Valhalla 2. So the Valhalla 2 range and the Odin 2 all have these hollow plugs. And uh, another uh, thing that's worth of mention is that this hollow plug will not fit the Valhalla 2 power cord. So it's a different one. It's, it's one connector for every cable because the number, size, uh, slanting of the four holes, everything is specifically made for one cable. On the other side too, yeah. Yeah, same thing on the other side. Um, do you have viable, viable um, lengths of cables or is it just one? No, we have variable lengths, but specific variable lengths, right. <laughs> like a so. discrete digital <coughs> lengths. What I mean is, the, 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 no, yeah, the power cord is available in 1.25, one 2.5, 5, or you could make it longer, but in those, in those multiples, <coughs> okay? Yeah. So that's what you have for the Odin, Odin chip. And that comes from a reason, I mean, uh, I didn't talk about that before, but <coughs> that applies to all, our whole Norse 2 range, 
and reference range, we do a mechanical optimization of the cable. So the same idea behind the sort cones uh, that I showed you there applies to the cable. So the cable, we think of the cable just like a guitar string. Even though it's not tensioned, it is still connected at both sides, and so it's still allowed to vibrate and generate mechanical energy. And we have found out that that mechanical energy can find its way into a system exactly like I showed you with the circle. And, and you have seven conductors inside, eh? Seven different... Seven conductors, yes. And They're uh, all the same. Three... Oh, yeah. How exactly. you divide these? Well, first of all, the, uh, the order that we... Uh, the order of the cabling is different. Before it was symmetrical, now it's asymmetrical. So now we have uh, three, three, and one. One is the ground. Yeah. yeah. Why it's one, the ground, since you are taking so much care of the ground? Oh, because we, we believe that uh, it's... It's enough. It's enough, it, okay. it works for this guy. Yeah. Okay. So you can see it, uh, in the Valhalla I think it's easier to see. All right. Okay, because it's uh, transparent, it's not, it doesn't have the shielding. Okay. All right, so that was uh, the power corn. So it's going to be a similar discussion. And, and uh, the tips there, what kind of material is the? It's all uh, gold-plated. Uh, gold-plated, not special magic. Uh, not as regular regular regu materials, no. Yeah, okay. Like uh, <laughs> some radioactive stuff. No. <laughs> and the contactor, what is the material of the contactor? All, the con all, the, all of our conductors are pure copper. 99, but, 99. But it looks like silver there. Well, the thing is, well, this cable has a shielding. Mm. Okay? But the thing is, um, all, all of our conductors uh, go through silver plating. And we do that because mm. the, surface, the surface of the copper is very irregular at a microscopic level. And the silver so is very uh, regular. But the current goes outside, eh? Well, um, yes and no. Nobody knows. And, uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> part of it uh, uh, goes on the surface, yes. But uh, you could also argue that the energy is actually carried by the EM fields, which are actually going through the dielectric and not the conductor. So we could get into a very uh, complicated argument there. But uh, we do silver plate all the cables, but these are microns, okay? Yeah. These are, it's very, very, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is an 80 micron plating. Very thin. So it's yeah. very, very thin. Yeah. Okay. All right? All right. All right, so we're going to do, we're going to play a song with uh, 